definitely survived through a lot of this, but Yotaro now has a nullifier, so you can dispel Eon Disc. And, well, Puppy is going to get the disruption off, gets stuck inside the Bramble, pops the Ghost Scepter preemptively, but he's going to die shortly after. Great oh, curse. Yep, that's a huge curse on the three heroes as Team Secret get RP from Collapse, and the right clicks are there from Yotaro. Triple oh, kill for him. Making it an ultra kill. Will he get another Rampage at TI-10? Absolutely, Yotaro does it again! Regen as well as that protection from wherever he's gonna be to pop it off. I don't think they're gonna have the damage to deal with Oji at all. Miracle trying to push into Thompson, but with the ice of the Thompson has, and the buff that he does, Soul Flying's out, they're gonna try and jump forward, the Wukong Skabon is now Mike Troll off the Rabbit, the GA's already out, they've got the Black Hole, GH pulls those, he's stuck inside the Wukong, three dead on Liquid, OG just beating them down, one by one, the buybacks will come out from both Kuro and Miracle, but both GH and Mike Control are gone without their ultimates and without buybacks, the game continues to worsen for Liquid as OG past the racks on top of Miracle, tossing him back into the boundless triple kill for Thompson. Wow. As OG, this entire game has been a high yeah. reel for them. We are, you get something. It's a lot of money, of course, Anna. So that's a little bit of glory for Liquid. Oh, Jerry, it will go down, maybe. No, the heal, they give the red oh, to Thompson. They will see if they can find an invasive move into the enemy triangle. Poshka is the frontliner front here. Dead. Smoke is popped. Oh, he must have okay, straight in. jumps in. He's getting decimated, but there's a save from Ollie for now. But no, there's too much damage to withstand. He does not have buyback. Oh, JP spear. is next on the list. Double kill for Yotaro. As it looks like Flyfly with the BKB will get out of dodge, but a triple kill now for the Morphling. And nice arena from Collapse. They find Flyfly. This will be an enormous kill. He turns into Monkey King for just a moment. Ultra kill Yotaro. What a turnaround from Team Spirit. And make it a rampage. Yotaro, beast mode enabled at TI-10. Trying to prevent the ravage that is just now coming up. Skewer over on Soxa here. Soxa still has the RP. They have to be careful of this, but they actually do help Soxa get out. So many brambles, now silence. Carl's in trouble, Samael is here to finish him off. The Ravage comes just a bit too late. They might be able to finish off Seb, they will, but it's gonna be costing them two at least. Now they get the duel off, but Samael, he's just gonna keep on swinging on these heroes. They are getting torn apart by 23 Savage and kited around a little bit. Samael has nowhere to go, so he's just gonna commit for the kill on a Cuckoo oh and God. continue challenging. 23 Savage oh, is up no. next. Now the Doom has faded away, so he can throw out the Avalanche, and oh, oh Jesus, my God. Oh, God. ultra kill, Let's Rampage go. on the way for Samael. The king is big and back in play here at TI. Rampage for Samael and T1 are not going to call it's it just quit. It's They're going to be oh able to go. Oh double, double, double rampage for him. Give him the triple perhaps. Soxa helping him out, trying to keep Cuckoo in place here. And T1 are going to call it here. They get the kill on Soxa first. Triple? And that is it. Triple rampage. Samael finally gets it. Team Spirit, they're taking a long path around with a smoke round. They have the vision on the high ground. Oh! Jump over Trona Trunka, he's looking for his target, but he gets caught over the head. Fly, fly! He's into the back line. he's got the Chrono down on Tiatoro. He needs more damage. Four! Is he going to be able to take your throw down? He is. That's the ace. He's gone. A second Chrono locks the third them down. Aimo is able to wrap him from the side. On to Collapse, he goes. Collapse will drop the two dooms, but Collapse will fall. Static Storm controlling Fly Fly. Tiatoro gets out of the second round of the Chrono Sphere. Over towards the lead, they go. JT drops the Echo Slam, but they're all falling on IG. It's an ult to kill. But Yatoro is down to Gengar. It's a rampage for the Drill Ranger. Yatoro. What a recovery he's had this game. Such a top beginning. But his carry performance, it's coming in hard. I wouldn't say it's failed. I mean, they're still 14k up. They've done a really good job. Now they come. S4 Bar strikes in. Look at DY's position. He's ready for the rock drop. He just needs the right timing for it. Ari's tanking through a lot of it. Now the rock drop does come down with the Fatal Bonds connect. But Fade's already dead. He'll have to buy him back. The damage in. They're getting it off. But here comes Paparazzi in for the stun. He wants to focus down Arteezy. And with the upheaval, it's making it difficult for EG to continue to move, especially as Ari has backed up some mail. He will end up falling. Chris trying to do something about it in the back lines. Turns on the Magnetize. Gets a follow up kick. But how much has he really got left to give? You got the flip. 
tossed out. Now crit, focused down by Paparazzi. All the damage he needs with the Gosser, and he gets it. And with a four star, Ori continues to be kiting them out. S4 will Burrow strike in. He doesn't really be that effective. In fact, it's just done the opposite way around. Artisi slow on life. He'll try and hit your right inside of S4 to get the hell out of here. Burrow strike in one second. But the mana, it got taken away by the Mystic Snake. They have to pop out. They have to fight. At least he'll be able to get one die back over on the Tuscar. Or maybe he can get oh, more. A double kill for Artisi. A triple kill for Artisi. He's just turned this crap up. Ultra kill. Given the rampage. The bash. It is. Artisi. Rampage is so He's leaving. Oh. Behold now that the shoe is on the other foot. Rocket's coming out. Doesn't see anything. Skeeter might get caught. Oh, this would be the worst situation. The two-man stun set up with the resolution. Ready to go. Both will fall. Both do have buyback. But there's going to be a third here on the ring. It's 33. Roll on through, stop the onslaught as well. Everything being countered on the side of Secret. They've used their buybacks, but they're not going to be able to do much. Maybe they can. Mag jumps in, grabs the Drow Ranger, and they do manage to get him. Immediate buyback. Secret trying to reset around this one. A beautiful stun from Science. Once again, another two man follow up. Misha keeping his distance here with the swashbuckle. He's going to roll up to the side. They're going to try and deal with this Nyx Assassin. Go, Don Raider coming in. Here comes the stunts. Can they change stun him? They burned out of mana. He needs to be able to get off a Sunder, but he doesn't have an opportunity to do so. He falls. A die back on the carry, but at the same time, oh, the Primal Beast went in, but they couldn't actually deal with the Drought Ranger, who's just in the back line. Throwing away the damage. Resolution. He will not go down easy. He will not go down without a fight. He finally does fall, but Tundra, it's too late for them. They blew far too much to be able to bring down the Dawnbreaker, and now Crystalis is here to clean up. Right, they buy back where they can. Gotta they do have the Roland coming on through. That's going to be able to get the chains done on to nine. He's dead as well. Three dead, no buybacks. 33, going to be collected, and that is it. GG. GG. Maybe they'll wait for the Lotus Orb to go up, and then the oh, nope, nothing's going to happen. Going in on the Quap, there's the damage. And Aggressive will use his BKB as soon as he gets hit by the charge. On the other side of it, Shiki taking some damage, but he's got the Aegis of the Immortal, so they're this happy to track. put him in the front lines. Oh, that's huge for Empire. Big movement speed advantage now going to Empire. That's the important part. And there's the next charge on Shiki. He's going to pop his ulti. Lotus Orb coming down as well, and they're going to have to disengage. Oh, they were going to Omni slash that, but great use yeah. of the Lotus Orb indeed. Now hook shot back in. Resolution isolated from the team. Takes a Soul Assumption. Sonic Wave connects on Silent. He gets an Omni Good slash. Omni. Oh, the stolen Sonic the Wave. Oh, oh, no. Dead. Oh, Sil oh, Silent with the Ultra Kill. Oh, that quaff ult from Aloha Dance and Silent. Oh, and he bashes him. Oh, he uses the ult. It does oh, that no matter what. But my. what a fight. Are they back into it? I think they might be. Shiki, he's going to die definitely. Rampage! Rampage for oh Silent. my gosh. Talk this about. The Magnus uh, Shockwave is going to stall. They do have to make the go here. From the Ice Blast, they do have the stun, but again, the false promise is there. He has the self fuel, tucking himself out. This should be enough damage, but 11 comes in with a three man RP. And the here comes the shot. Triple kill for Ame. Mason wants the BKB. Tries to jump with the heels. Bring it. Baby's seven. alive. Back up to full life. They're gonna TP out. They get the silence. silence. He's gone for the rampage. Can he get the rampage? He got! Ave playing out of his mind. The That's tech angle that Liquid need, and Aster are gonna constantly pressure this tower with Liquid Fire, with Shrapnel plus attacks from Sniper. Yeah, well, they're on in. They want to get the Omni Knight immediately. Will they get him? He gets four sets of safety. There's the Guardian Angel just in time. And Mickey has to buy back after dying right off the bat. And Matu is dead as well. A terrible fight for Liquid as the BKBs have come out from Aster. Now they can just focus down Zai. Another death, another kill from Monet. Ultra kill overall. Ori wants another hook. He gets it. Mickey completely out of mana as Monet trying to finish the job. But able to zip away is Mickey again. But Foxy slow to a crawl and a rampage. Monet just sitting in the back while his. Miracle likely just gonna back. No, the smoke. Counter smoke. And No Tail has been found out first. He gets the Hex off in time, and No Tail, he gets off the ultimate. There's the Cronus Field, hits on the Shadow and Faith Beyond. And Miracle just getting blinded by Blake. He's gonna TP out, but the Abyssal cancels it. They're gonna lose the Tinker here. They might lose Megas as well. Tinker trying to TP out, cannot make it in time. Sven He's is down for 83 seconds. Sven the Hex up again, and Moon will try to bring it down. Meanwhile, Miracle has gotten Megas LD.
Innocence now caught in the fountain. OG pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Shadow, can he somehow salvage this He's fight? So He's used all his cooldowns. Miracle's gonna come in and wreck him. Oh, what a Magic style from Moon, and here comes Miracle. Shadow being kited, and now the ultra kill from Miracle will almost certainly end the game. And OG, look at me. There I'm it is. the carry now, says Miracle. And OG will salvage what looked like a lost game. Oh, uh, wings are gonna be kicking them. Jumped on, BKB's up, but there's the song. Blitz, no, does end up dropping because of the BKB on the storm. And now he's slept, let's see. Yeah, they're just gonna try to leave, but they're gonna be caught out from behind. Four staff gets Corey back away. What did Bambo get? Managed to get Carapace, but the Eclipse goes off and Zephyr could be in some trouble. Scythe chasing them out of the base. Bambo that time stole Eclipse, and now he's gonna turn it around. Oh my God. Double kill for him. Oh Chibix is about to drop two. He does make it Holy an all run kill. Shit. A rampage. Holy Sexy Bamboo, you monster.